All right, uh, having some technical difficulties tonight. Uh, let's give this a third attempt. So tonight's video is going to be divided up into hopefully two videos. I uh, don't want to see any more problems going into this. I recorded for over an hour, but only 10 minutes recorded. So anyways, to go back to where we left off, um, 47 trading days. That's straight bull. Uh, if we were to go back to the last longest that I can find, actually they're about the same. 56, but this is a balance from the correction, pandemic correction. So last biggest one was uh, about 57 days. So we are coming up to a weekly higher low is definitely needed. 10 weeks, 12 weeks, 11 weeks. So we are already at 10 weeks. Um, just something to be aware. Do not play with size. Don't go all in until a clear signal is provided by the market. Um, I'm going to try to speed the video up a little bit. Uh, getting a bit tired here after recording for over an hour and only 10 minutes getting recorded. So I apologize if there is a little bit of a lack of a detail. If you have any questions, do feel free to post down below and I will look forward to answering them for you. First sticker, Tesla. That's okay. That can, uh, Actually, no, this is good. So, broke over, long-term channel, rejected, broke over again on the S&P uplisting, came back, formed the clear lower trend line, which we bounced from alongside the GP. And then from there, we've been in the upward trend since, and it has been nine days of nearly straight bull. We did form a higher low here on the 88, Beautiful higher low. Then from here, no bear signals yet. The only thing is potentially daily reversal signal. However, you can never base a trade off of that. Uh, we are a little bit extended from the daily eight. There is no bear divergence or slight bear divergence, but no significant bear volume. So I wouldn't be exiting. Uh, if you were to, if you were playing playing it safe, use the 4R8 as your guide. The 4R8 right now is sitting at about 734. Considering if we were to have sideways action tomorrow, uh, or even uh, forming a bit, a bull flag, you want to hold the 4R8, meaning do not close under it. Next, Fubo. A little bit of a frustrating trade. Um, entered on the 31st, added on the 4th. We broke bow, or gapped up and ran, broke bow, and exited the option trades over here at the break of. Mm, sorry, that was not it. Exited the option trade here at the break of 58. Then from there, we bounced from GP of this whole move. Uh, draw it just so you can see. Magnate on. The low to the high. GP of this whole move. Bounce from here. One other thing I didn't notice. This chart re responds to the GP fairly well. And we reject it from the GP. So what we can expect from here is a wedge to form. Potentially just broke under it. Depends how you draw this. You know, it could be like this as well. Regardless, what we want to see tomorrow is hold of today's low at 27. Yeah. Key low to hold, 27. Trying to get this a little bit better. No, still doesn't work. Okay, whatever. QS. 
correction has started, even though it's uh, potentially due to the news of the riot, it has helped to pull back. Um, this has been an, an amazing trade for most of us. Uh, we called it, I called it out a day or two ago, and we our, our entries were. I'm not gonna go back and refer to it, but it was somewhere around here, the low area, or a break of the uh, 15 minute eight. So from here, we bounce really nice. Uh, the 15 minute has been the support all the way. Never broke under it. Support, support, support. Still didn't break under. Never closest one was this one. Closed right on it. Same with this one. Gapped up next day. Support, support, support then was forming a bull flag until the news came out and we broke broke bear from here i uh, will be looking at getting back to the trade at the clear support previous re, pre, previous resistance of what is this Nine, uh, 61 bucks top watch tomorrow Next, SQ, QS to SQ. Coming up to key level to hold. Ideally, we'll on balance from right here, 226. Was the previous double top, broke bow. And as we can see, it's uh, serving as support right now. Increasing bear volume. Same idea, the riot news affected every single stock that, or well, not every single, but majority of the stocks out there. Daily still looks amazing. Increasing bull volume. Want to see at the weakest in, inside bar tomorrow. Do not want to break today's low. Ideally, you we form a higher low just by the, uh, some sideways action. Strong chart. Very strong chart. I would anticipate that we would come back to test this trend line at some point before another rejection. So something to keep an eye out. It is a shorter term trade, if anything. Um, no divergences, so. Yeah, nothing to worry about on, on the QS. SKLZ mm. Again, weird chart. Can't look at the daily. New ticker. Strong bull volume um, potential for our potential for our reversal candle. Not worried about this trade in the comments and a monthly call yeah, a few monthly calls. Um, if we're to zoom into closer time frames, I believe it was somewhere around 15. Yeah, you can see no noticeable bear volumes, even on the pullback from the from today's riot news. No volume. It's just lack of sellers. Um, very comfortable in this chart. We'll be adding to it just depending on where we find that higher low from. Key level of support. Potentially a little bit more downside. If we do come to the support, we'll be at it. CGC, extremely, uh, extremely bull. Broke to a new all-time high, gap up ran followed by a pullback um, finally gapped over this uh, resistance area which we had only a single close over it so far until today this chart we want to be looking at a little bit of a shorter time frame what exactly happened today um, gap up uh, gapped up ran pullback did not break to a new low Continue running, did not break through a new high. Then from there, we formed, formed the wedge. 
a clear wedge to be seen. Then from there, broke bull, extremely bull chart. News came out, uh, riot news came out, dropped. Now we are trading under the five minute eight. Use that as your guide. That would be your entry on the first signal. We are uh, we're seeing increasing bull volume. Um, we'll anticipate lots of follow through because plenty of upside daily trend change, higher low, higher high, higher low, or sideways action, higher low, lower high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, and now the lower, uh, higher low has been set. We are forming a higher high. Anticip anticipate to see follow through. American Airlines, uh, during my last recording that did not go through, I was just saying that this is a golden setup, low risk, uh, ideal long entry spot. Well, yesterday, but today is still ideal too. Uh, we are still trading under the hourly, or well, right on the hourly trend line. Reject, reject, almost touch, reject, reject and reject now we broke over it riot news caused to come down closed over it uh, we did form a slight bull divergence here when we broke the support so this is where a majority of the new traders would have been tricked to exit or their stops getting hunted and straight bounce from there so liking this setup lots of lower wicks We'll be looking for an entry tomorrow. Snow. A bit of a frustrating trade, but it is on, uh, it is one of the much longer trades that I am anticipating to work out. Um, we are trading consistently under this already trend line. Reject. And one, two, three, four, four rejections closed over it on yesterday, but immediately came got shot right back down today it looked like we were going to go for it run at it again uh, did pick up a second entry right at, at this double bottom with bull volume and you know if you're looking to determine how to do that it's uh if you look at this on uh, the two minute at the open this is going to be a bit of a tighter chart yeah okay so Two minute at the open. This is pre-market. Wait, this is not pre-market. Two minute at the open. Sell, sell. Lack of, lack of sell volume. Immediately see bull volume coming in. That's where. That's your entry signal. We did bounce back up. Right to the trend line. Then from there got rejected. Found support here. Follow through. Riot news. Follow through. Uh, this this trade, however, is a little bit different than um, majority of the other names that we look at. Partially because it is still in the IPO phase, somewhat. It has traded for, I think, somewhat two months now. Okay, maybe about three months-ish. When this name pops, you can see that it really goes. This run was 83%, and I'm comfortable from this second entry. We're down about 3%. That's nothing compared to 83. And the other reason is if we were looking at the already, there is bold divergence forming from. Regardless how you look at it, this would be one of them. This would be a minor bold divergence. And that's from here. So multiple bull divergence is forming. And on the RLDs, ideal time to, to, or ideal time frame to be looking at for bull divergence or any sort of divergences, because they would serve as a longer time play. 
longer time frame play. Next, zoom. This try I haven't looked at for some time. Um, people are getting hyped about it. We are still trading under the 88. Rejected it yesterday, came back down. Most ideal entry, gap fill right at 325.90. And we would potentially be looking at a daily bull divergence, four hour bull divergence kind of thing. So if we were to make a new low, you would be looking at something like this. Very strong bull divergence. And it's actually a very nice chart to be playing. We'll be adding it to the watch list for the next few days. Next, A, B, and B. Potentially seeing a reversal. Potentially wedge forming. Uh, I had this wedge around for some time now. Can't remember why, but I was sort of anticipating a bottom somewhere along here. Um, regardless, it's uh, we are seeing bow volume coming in, lack of bear volume after increasing or substantial increasing bow volume. So this play is actually really nice. If you look at the deity, bowls have bow volume have far outweighed the bear volume. You can't really look at the IPO day. IPO day is always going to be throwing the other day's uh, volume off. If you look at the already increasing bow, low bear volume, Low entry and uh, low risk entry, right about here. If we were to come back to the, down to the trend line, ideal entry. No substantial rejection off of volume shelf. Broke right through it. Stalled. Came back. Came back down due to partially due to the news. Doesn't seem to be too affected by it. But yeah, this is gonna be a good long term play. Riv, as per the request of I trade for Chanel. Interesting chart. Uh, I think I'm looking at the wrong one. Yep, there it is. This doesn't work. Right, so it's been a while since I looked at this chart. Last time I looked at it, it seems like uh, charts weren't really drawn correctly. Anyways, clear trend change on the weekly. Lower low, lower high, higher low. And just broke to a higher high t this week. Did not close over it yet. This big bow of volume was from I can't remember what it's called. It's, uh, something along the asset selling. This they were selling parts of their assets to improve efficiency. Um, anyways, yeah. So from there we've seen we've been seeing nice follow through on increasing bull volume. Potential profit taking today. I want to see the time that this happened. Okay, yeah, potential profit taking today. So from here, what we'll be looking at Okay. Noticeable levels of support. GP, previous high. If you are in this trade, just 
just broke the already eight broke bear 1.5 would be your first stop it is the previous support or most recent support alongside the 0.382 4 hour 8 would be your next next stop. Uh, considering if it comes down, it's going to be somewhere around 1.4. If you are not in this trade, ideal entry 1.35. Not looking for too much of a bear follow through on this. Increasing bear volume, uh, increasing bull volume, low bear volume. So, ideal for hold, no sign of. Uh, exit yet next request as well is from i trade for chanel as well bap dot un brookfield renewable i've looked at this chart i believe a few months ago looks like it's done decently since i looked at it 50% not bad potential reversal signal today oh okay definitely reversal signal today um, reversal uh, what is it called shooting star on volume climax overbought let's look at the eight or four hours Overbought with TD9. Now this uh, TD9 is basically confirmation. We, if we were to see a follow through on the next candle, it'll serve as a confirmation. It's a warning signal. Like I said, some people use it for leading indicators. Can be. Problem is, it changes with. Uh, it doesn't usually work out that this this perfectly um, multiple time frames but in this case it does day 9 you can see on the weekly printed 9 but kept running 4 hour 9 already? nope alright so short term top for sure just broke a, just, just broke bear on the already 8 at the very minimum would expect a retest of 4 hour 8 at about 58 bucks hmm. was there some news on it there was big bull volume at at the close Right at the close. Now this makes me wonder. This this potentially big. Let's look at the U.S. side. What is it? BEP. No after our action. Interesting. So this makes me wonder if there's news. Very noticeable bull volume. Could see a gap up tomorrow. If not, we are looking at gap fill. Turn on the daily. If not, we are looking at this gap fill to 58.73 at the minimum. Following the break, the bear break of that, we'd be looking at 4 hour 8, which actually lines up with the gap fill with extension on. All right, last one, Suncor. Oh, actually, I cleaned this chart, chart up yesterday. Let 
amazing. What a good close. Broke bear, past the support resistance. Um, came back, back tested it. Even with the riot news, held the support very nicely. Worked under it, but did not close under. 15 minute big bull volume at the close. What is going on? Well, guess I'll be watching these two names tomorrow. Huge bull volume. Let's look at the US side. Yeah, the problem with Canadian tickers on US side is generally minimum action after hours. Extension is not showing any trades. Okay. Okay, it might be a glitch because US side is not showing that volume. Okay, it could be a Canadian ticker issue on trading view. So just another reason why we, we generally use uh, US side of tickers if it's dual listed as opposed to just a Canadian side. It's a little bit less trickier. It's more li liquid. It gives a little bit more precise information. Um, on US side, we did not come back to back test uh, support. Rejecting from the trend line again, right on it. So next candle, next four hour candle, I would anticipate on the US side, if we don't see a follow through, we'll most likely come back to back test the support. Anyways, that's it for tonight. Uh, it's a little bit longer of a video, technical issues, uh, it's, it's been a long night. Um, is there anything else? Give me one sec guys, just gonna, just viewing through everything here. Right, I guess that's it. So, um, comment down below uh, if you have any questions. And make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I hope you all stay safe. And make sure you size appropriately in this market until a clear direction is given. Be patient. patient patience pace. I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night, guys.